Welcome to Puddle! Into this update, we're gonna tackle the second half of the laboratory. We're gonna start with Trinitrate, or the alternate title for nitroglycerine, Glyceryl Trinitrate. It has been used in order to treat heart problems as well than angina. And whenever you do stunts like this, it can also be used in order to create heart problems. The game certainly wasn't getting around when it was telling me to be cautious with this thing. So in this level, you have to take things really slow because the slightest shock will be enough to set off your entire nitroglycerine. And unless your liquid gets scattered all over the place, one single mistake will cost you the entire level. With that said, there's some sense of satisfaction in this level, at least in this one part where you're afforded to go really, really fast. Look at me! I have the most deadly liquid in existence, and I can do whatever I want with it! Case in point. Yeah, we have to approach those doors a whole lot more cautiously too. So let's try it again with a little bit less carelessness this time around. And I also like all of the little tubes of nitroglycerine that you see on the top which are being processed by this conveyor belt. This place may be entirely cold, but things are surely heating up in there. Essentially, this is still a introduction level to the nitroglycerine. It's pretty easy and pretty gentle for the most part, and here we go. We're going into the slink tunnel in order to put an end to this level. Essentially, this entire level is all about time, because you will either bring all of your liquid to the end, or none at all. There's absolutely no middle ground. So now we have Kieselgur, another really obscure name that needs explaining. It also stands for diatomite, and it's a naturally occurring soft, silicious, sedimentary rock that is easily crumbled into a fine white to off-white powder. Basically, this powder is used as a filtration aid, a mild abrasive in products including toothpaste, mechanical insecticide, absorbent for liquids, oh, and also blowing all of this stuff up for absolutely no reason. Yeah, you don't bring all of your liquid here because otherwise, it's pretty much all a gunner. So, where was I again? Oh yeah, it was an absorbent for liquid, a matting agent for coating, and being unable to pretty much negotiate a curve because I was going way too fast here. This level is not to be taken with kid's glove anymore. You have to be careful here. So, it can be used in reinforcing filler in plastics and rubber, anti-block in plastic films, porous support for chemical catalysts, cat litter, activator in blood clotting studies, and a stabilizing component of dynamite. And that's how you do this section right here. You just pour out as few liquid as you can so that you can set off the trap, and then instead of losing all of your liquid, you lose only one single drop of it all. Isn't that nice? Oh, and finally, Kiesel Gores can be used as a thermal insulator, considering that it's heat resistant. And that's pretty much it for all that it can do. In the meantime, we're just gonna have to... Oh god, we have jumps to negotiate as nitroglycerine. Yeah, this part can get messy. The moment you hit the laser, obviously, game over. There are two options for this sequence right here. Either you make the thing explode here with some of your liquid, or you do a really daring jump up to the wall and into the incline in order to gracefully slide to the exit. Both can be pretty dangerous, and be assured that if you fuck up the drop here, you'll have to restart the entire level. So alright, now that we're done playing with nitroglycerine, what's next? Why, you pour yourself a drink after having blown up an entire lab and setting it on fire and everything. So we have to make a mix of fruit juice and... Technesium? Wait, what? Isn't technesium something that you use in medical radioactive isotope tests? And yeah, it's radioactive and can cause cancer whenever you drink it? Why would you pour a drink made out of that and find it with this machine? <laughs> I love this level mainly because it's so fucked up and bizarre beyond any possible belief. Yeah, essentially, you just build yourself a coffee machine, and you just make it so that it spills coffee in one side, and you have to move your glass all over the place by making your machine shake around, and finally, on the other side, you put technesium on it, because, well, why? It just seems very practical. 
nobody's gonna make the difference between that and milk. So for this level you have to make a mixture of both liquids in equal quantities and you do see a counter at the top of the machine and you need to have your cursor in the middle for it to count. So what are we gonna do with this? Oh my god, are you telling me you really drank that? I give up. It, it's just, all the people in this game are stupid. So anyway, after having drank radioactive liquids, it's now time to go look at the extreme difficulty differences in the last few levels that we played. The nitroglycerin levels do play a little bit differently because your liquid will tend to spread out a whole lot more, so it'll be a little bit trickier to keep in check. Other than that, in the first level, there's no real significant change to be found. With that said, you do have to be a little bit more careful because even the slightest shocks can pretty much ruin your entire day. Nitroglycerin spreading out will be a much bigger deal into this one level because whenever you'll reach this part of the level, you will see that your liquid will be definitely harder to keep in check because it's now scattered in about four or five different parts. And of course you have to deal with this one part, so you have to make sure your other part is not going away, but by making the other part not go away, you run the risk of making the other part explode by ramming it against a wall. So it's definitely a tricky part. At least it seems as if we've managed to do well into this one attempt. The other thing that you will notice on both nitroglycerin levels is the fact that explosions are much more lethal. Yeah, how the hell did my liquid explode? It was so far away from where the explosion is occurred. So we'll have another look at how explosions can also fuck you up really big time. You must take your time onto this one part because if you try to rush in... Yeah, whenever your screen is all blurry and all of this, it's danger zone. Do not go too fast because otherwise you will explode. As for this level... Yeah, I think you saw what the problem is with the extreme difficulty. Your glass or measuring glass is a whole lot heavier and it's much harder to move around. So you definitely have to be a little bit more careful in order to do that. But yeah, we're going to have to do this in the next video because we're going to do the gold medal run on extreme difficulty.